hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of n if we have 5 to the power of n is equals to n to the power of 625 and we solve this problem for the values of n so here now we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root uh, so here we move towards the solution of this problem and here the very first thing we are going to do is here first we need to move the variable terms to the right hand sides and we move the constant term to the right left hand side so here first we need to move this n to the right hand side so far uh, in order to remove this n from left hand side we need to take the nth root on both of the sides so when we will take nth root it will be written as 5 to the power of n and its whole power is 1 over n is equals to n to the power of 625 and its whole power is 1 over n so further in the next step we have here we use the nice exponential line to the left hand side and you know about that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n according to this rule here uh, or in other words we again rewrite uh, this rule as in this form you just interchange these two values and it will be written as a to the power of n to the power of m so these three values are always equal so in the left hand side uh, we apply the, these term and in the right hand side we just interchange these two exponents so that uh, after applying this rule we write our left hand side as a 5 to the power of n multiplied by 1 over n is equals to n to the power or oh, here we interchange these two exponents and it will become n to the power of 1 over n and its whole power is 625 and now you see here this n is cancelled out by this n and we get here 5 is equals to uh, this is n to the power of 1 over n and its whole power is 625 so here you see that we move the variable terms to the right hand side and now we have time to remove uh, to move the uh, 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 constant term into the left hand side for this we uh, just remove the 625 and in order to remove this 625 we will take uh, 1 over 625th root on both of the sides or in other words we just take power 1 over 625 on both of the sides so after taking this power uh, this will be written as in this form 625 and its whole power is 1 over 625 and further we uh, again use here the above exponential line you know that if we have 5 to the power of 625 is equals to here we multiply these two exponents and it will be written as n to the power of 1 over n so here uh, we again multiply these two exponents and after multiplying these exponents it will be written as 6 to the power of uh, 625 multiplied by 1 over 625 these two values are cancelled out by each other and after cancellation of these values we get here 5 to the power of 1 over 625 is equals to n to the power of 1 over n and now here you see in the in the right hand side we have the exponent be the reciprocal of its base so in order to make these type of conditions here uh, we need some working into the left hand side uh, for this we just multiply and divide the exponent of um, this 5 by 5 and after uh, multiply and divide by uh, 5 the exponent of this term our equation is written as in this form this is n to the power of 1 over n okay so further here uh, we just move this 5 inside the term and we multiply this 5 with this 625 and it will be written as 5 to the power of 5 and its whole exponent is 5 multiplied by 625 is equals to n to the power of 1 over n and in the next step uh, here we know about that uh, 5 to the power of 5 is equals to uh, 3125 okay so we use uh, these values here and we replace this 5 to the power of 5 is equals to 3125 and its whole exponent is 1 over uh, when we multiply uh, 5 with 625 it is also equals to 3125 is equals to n to the power of 1 over n and again uh, you see here on both of the sides uh, we have the basis 
the exponents are the reciprocal of its basis so that now we need to compare both of the sides so you see here when we compare the bases uh, it will become here n is equal to 3125 and when we compare the exponents it will be written as 1 over n is equal to 1 over 3125 so from both of these two cases you will get here the same value of n and that is n is equal to 3125 so here uh, we get the only one root of the given equation and that is n is equal to 3125 and now here in the next step we need to verify that is this value of n is satisfied our given question statement or not or in other words we just verify that is this value of n be the solution or extraneous root so for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here and it is 5 to the power of n is equals to n to the power of 625 so uh, here uh, when we substitute this value of n on both of the sides of this equation uh, it will be written as in this form uh, so when we put it here it will becomes 5 to the power of 3125 is equals to this is also uh, we substitute this n is equals to 3125 to the power of 625 and uh, in the next step here we need to focus uh, in the uh, exponent of this term and this is 3125 uh, and uh, uh, we know that uh, this 3125 is equals to 5 multiplied by 625 is equals to 3125 to the power of 6625 uh, so here we need to move this 5 inside the term and it will be written as 5 to the power of 5 and its whole power is 625 and this is also 3125 to the power of 625 and again uh, we, do, uh, we know about that 5 to the power of 5 is equal to 3125 to the power of 625 is equal to 3125 to the power of 625. So you see here both of the sides are equal uh, when we put here n equals to 3125. So this means that the value of n is satisfied our given question statement. Uh, so we finally conclude about the solution set of this question. Uh, is that uh, we have n is equals to 3125 be the uh, solution of this equation so this is the our final answer of this question uh, and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos